spine care. Stand tall, shoulders relaxed. Breathe in, take your hands up and make a steeple with your hands and stretch up. Come on your toes. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. If you can't come on your toes, you can stand still. But make sure your spine is straight as if somebody is pulling you from your hands and somebody is pulling you down from your legs. Just stretch up with every breath. Stretch more. Stretch. Keep breathing. Spine straight. And gently with exhalation. Relax. Now we stand on one leg. So gently lift your right leg up. Knees parallel to the ground. And you are standing on left leg. You could also make a steeple with your hands. Take support or hands on your waist. Either way you are comfortable. But try and fix your gaze at one point. The upper body will not move. You are just standing still on left leg. Keep breathing. Hold this posture for at least 20 seconds. And relax. Other side. Gently lift your left leg. Knees parallel to the ground. You can keep your hands by the side or make a steeple and keep breathing. Fix your gaze at one point. It helps in balancing the posture. Hold this posture for 20 seconds. You can always do it, uh, you know, with eyes closed also, uh, but it takes a bit of a practice. That also tells the health of the spine if you're able to hold this posture with closed eyes and relax. Now imaginary chair. So how we are going to, uh, to sit, breathe in, gently push your hip backward and knees will not cross the toe line. One second, let me show you. Knees will not cross the toe line and hip, spine in the straight line and keep breathing in this posture for 20 seconds. Keep breathing, head neutral and smile and shine and relax. Now. Uh, yeah, we'll sit in Padmasan. So, if you cannot sit in Padmasan, sit in Sukhasan. Spine will stretch with every breath, stretch up. As if somebody is pulling you from your hands. Hold this posture for 20 seconds. Keep breathing. Yogudra. Come in Padmasan. Make a gentle fist with your hand and gently move down. If you can't go all the way down as much as possible, but try to touch your head on the floor. Keep breathing. This is also a very good posture to relax. 
and with exhalation come up vertebra by vertebra and relax. Now lie down on your stomach, we do elbow walk, elbows together, feet together and chin resting on the hands. Now gently move your elbows. Only elbows will walk in front. As much as you can go, keep breathing and walk backwards. Let's repeat it few times. Keep breathing. Walk forward. And walk backward. Walk forward and walk backward and relax. Gently turn to your right side and come on your back. Hip bridge. Legs close to the hip and stretch up. Breathe in, knees, hip and shoulder in straight line. Keep breathing. Hold this posture for a couple of more seconds. And with exhalation, come down. Turn to your right side. Nadi Shodhan Pranayam. So we do just one round. Maybe you can do on your own five rounds. I'll just explain. Uh, index finger and, and middle finger in between the eyebrows. Thumb slightly touching the skin of the right nostril and ring, uh, ring finger and little finger on the right or uh, left nostril. Breathe in from both nostrils, breathe out from left. And close the right nostril, breathe in from left, breathe out from right, breathe in from right, Hold and breathe out from left. So this is one round. You could do five rounds. After you're done with Nadi Shodhan Pranayam, we'll do uh, Mudra Pranayam. So Meru Dan Mudra. Uh, thumb straight facing the ceiling and resting on the knees. Keeping your eyes closed. Take five deep breaths. Gently move your thumb facing each other and the knuckles will rest on the knees and take five deep breaths. will face the walls so opposite side so both the thumbs are not facing each other they are facing the wall take five deep breaths Keeping your eyes closed, hands relaxed, we chant Om three times. Take a normal breath in and let go. 
Breathe in for Om. Um. Gently open your eyes. Yes.